Hi, I'm Dylan from Velocity Tech Solutions. Today I'll be going over the ML350P Generation 8 server. This is one of the latest Generation 1s, pretty much completely current with the hardware. We're going to first go over the Prox. You'll notice they've got two slots. This is socket 1, this is socket 2. This supports the Sandy Bridge Extreme processors which come in dual core, quad core, hex core, and octa core variations, and also have hyper threading. So with two procs you can get up to 32 logical cores. Um, with that going, you'll notice we have two sets of dims. These 12 dims are controlled by proc 1, these are controlled by proc 2. Essentially with these set up, these are in quad channel configuration, so you'll notice I've got four set up right now, and essentially to get maximum speed you're going to want to match four sticks of memory in each one. So essentially it'll go either four, eight, or twelve sticks for maximum speed. Obviously you can't use these unless you have the second proc in there. Um, so going from there, we're going to go over the PCI Express slots. You'll notice we've got nine spots, three of them are, eight of them are PCI Express 3, one of them is PCI Express 2. You've got three 16x spots, essentially these are for um, video cards for general purpose graphic processing units, so things like uh, CAD and things that would use CUDA cores from NVIDIA, those would essentially go into there. So you've got a good amount of expansion there. Now we're going to move on to the fans. These are currently set up in the base entry level. You'll notice we've got three and one blank. Essentially, you can go in a set of four non-redundant fans like this, or you can get a kit that replaces this with four redundant fans. So you'll end up with eight altogether. Now, look around here. You can see it has an SD card slot your SATA cables for, say, any expansion things that you might have in there. And then you'll also notice here is your cache module for your onboard RAID. Essentially, for the base model of this, it has an onboard RAID. So this is the cache module. It can go up to 2 gigabytes, and that is connected with the main set of drives that go here. You can either go with 3.5 inch or 2.5 inch drives. Essentially, you get six slots for the three and a half inch and eight slots for the two and a half inch. You also have the ability to expand two more slots so you can get up to, it would be 20 or uh, 18 three and a half inch or 24 two and a half inch slots. So there's quite a bit of expandability there. And lastly, we're going to go over our connections in the back. You'll notice it comes stock with one power supply. It can extend to two for a redundant power supply setup. You'll see we've got four one gigabyte NIC ports and one NIC port for the ILO, which allows you to essentially control this server remotely if you're not at it. Um, we've got four USB ports, video port, and then a serial port. Um, essentially that goes over everything that will be inside this server. Oh, I also forgot to mention, with the memory, there are three different maximum amounts you can have. Essentially, with UDIM RAM, which is unbuffered, you can get up to 128 gigabytes with 8 gig DIMMs. You can get up to 384 gigabytes using registered DIMMs, which would be 16 gigabyte 6. And you can get up to 768 gigabytes using LR DIMMs, which would be 32 gigabyte 6. So it has quite a bit of expandability as far as that goes for virtualization, and it's quite a capable machine. Um, that should pretty much cover it. Once again, this is Dylan from Velocity Tech Solutions, and that should be good.